All right, welcome back to Bayou Time. Martin Falls here, and we are now joined by Captain Brennan Mathern of the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office. And uh, certainly, uh, this was quite some news coming out of Lafouche Parish uh, with the attempted murder of four officers. And uh, there you see some of the pictures there, and we're going to let the captain jump in. And uh, Captain, uh, always tough when we have to report on these news stories, but when it comes close to home, I'm sure that's pretty harrowing for you all. Yeah, no, no doubt about it, Martin. And especially after losing uh, one of our own and Sergeant Nick Pepper, uh, which feels like so recently, uh, it ultimately, you know, th this type of scenario is never something you want to wake up to. And that's exactly what occurred on Friday. Um, this incident started early in the morning, which is, is just odd uh, that, that we'd have something that starts in the daylight hours. Uh, such an early point in the day. We're used to things starting uh, in the evening or happening overnight in the late morning hours. But uh, the scene that you see right here is is what greeted uh, commuters on their way into work uh, around 6.30 a.m. Our officers got called to this incident. 39-year-old uh, David Foray uh, was reportedly shooting his gun uh, in the middle of Highway 1, uh, and he was shooting it kind of over the highway uh, across to the, the LA 308 side uh, from Highway 1. And uh, our officers responded when they got there. Uh, obviously, they attempted to try to get him to drop that firearm. He refused, uh, then started walking toward our officers. So that ultimately created a, a high stakes situation. Uh, in the process of doing that, he began taking bullets out of his gun. Uh, and so the, the situation changed a bit and officers were able to utilize a taser device and uh, and attempt to subdue them. Uh, by using the taser, they were able to go hands on with Mr. Foray and attempt to get him in handcuffs. And while they were doing so, uh, and they had a couple of officers uh, that initially tried to do so, uh, while they were doing so, uh, Mr. Foray fought with them uh, very aggressively, uh, very violently. Uh, two officers from Harbor Police also uh, came to the scene uh, and to try to subdue him. And, and they eventually did get him in cuffs, but not before Mr. Foray uh, grabbed one of the uh, rifles that one of our patrol officers had and was able to shoot off four rounds or several rounds, rather, uh, and, and endangering the lives of those four officers that were there. Um, he also injured two of the officers. He used uh, his firearm to strike one of our officers in the head several times bit another officer, one of our deputies. Uh, both of those uh, individuals went to the hospital and were treated for injuries and released. But uh, ultimately, we did get him in cuffs. Uh, we did apply for a search warrant and found 30 firearms at his residence, along with a, a lot of ammunition. Uh, obviously, this is still under investigation, and we continue to try to find out what he was doing with all that. Uh, ultimately, if he was just a gun enthusiast and owned uh, those large number of guns, uh, we have the ATF in Lafouche Parish today, and they will be with us this week, uh, actively investigating each and every one of those firearms to ensure that they are legally his. Uh, and if so, ultimately, they'll be returned. Uh, but we're just doing our due diligence to make sure that uh, everything is on the up and up in this situation. Let me ask you, Captain, because we have a few minutes left. First of all, the bail is set at $1,312,500. Pretty, pretty big bail. That's good. So secondly, by the picture we're showing here, uh, and I'm just alleging this, but I'm, I'm curious, was he on something when he was doing this? Because these pictures, his eyes are pretty lit up here. Well, ultimately, uh, it, that you know, we haven't gotten to that uh, disclosure in the, this part of the investigation. As this continues to go on, certainly that will be uh, a focus. Uh, you know, mental capacity and and uh, potential. Um, of any type of substance being involved. Uh, that hasn't been uh, ultimately determined yet and, and released to the public. But that is going to be one of the things, one of the many, many things that is going to be part of this investigation. And certainly with uh, attempted first degree murder charges, you can uh, bet that all of that information will eventually come to light uh, in the form of a trial if this thing goes that far. And, and I know we only have a couple of minutes yet, but this once again, it's just a great example of the kind of work that you and, and, and the sheriff and everybody does putting themselves in harm's way because this is a prime example of officers in harm's way. 
Well, you know, if you follow us on social media, you know it was a very interesting week for us uh, with, with a lot of interesting comments. But I will tell you that, look, when, when everybody else is going to work at 6.30 on a Friday morning, our officers are, are coming to work, and this is what they have to face. So, uh, you know, I, I just encourage the public, you know, before you jump to criticize or, or think that you would know what you would do in a situation, uh, until you put yourself in those shoes, until you actually wear that badge and uniform, uh, it is impossible to know how you would react or what you would do. Um, with all that being said, uh, we understand that we're held to a higher uh, standard and, and we expect that and, and embrace it. And uh, we will continue uh, to deliver uh, our timely information. We will deliver uh, great service to the public and, and continue to serve our parish well. Well, Captain, we appreciate you coming on and and being transparent, and once again, tough situation for you all in Lafouche, but uh, we thank you once again for your service to the community. We thank the sheriff for the transparency, and uh, uh, we wish all of y'all safety in the future, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Martin, and thank you always for the opportunity. All right, there you have it. Captain Brennan Mathern from the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Department, and we thank him for coming on, and if you or anybody else has news that you would like for us to look into, please give us a call or go to our Facebook page at uh, the HTV Facebook or YouTube. But we'd always like to help the public uh, as we do each and every day when we bring you these news stories. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more. Don't go away.